There are a couple key moments in a project car's life in which you really have to remember. You know, maybe buying the car, putting on new rims, or in this case, your first set of coilovers. In today's episode, we are going to be installing my first set and Greta's first set of BC racing coilovers. All that in today's episode. My name is Ryan. This is Project Race Car. Let's get into it. So I've always wanted to buy a set of coilovers and I figure I might as well go all the way out uh, on my first set. Um, these BC Racing coilovers are probably the bang, best bang for your buck out of any modification that you're going to be able to do on your car. Yes, they are a little bit expensive out of the door, but they are going to offer adjustability in the dampening. You can adjust the camber, you can adjust the ride height, you can adjust the feel of the coilovers and really be able to dial in the suspension of your car, especially if you're like me and you have 30 year old parts under there. Now the E30 suspension is something that I wanted to upgrade since the moment that I got it. It wasn't in the worst condition, I have had sloppier suspension, but needless to say, this is a well-weighted upgrade. With the E30 suspension, uh, they are a weld-in design. So that means that we have to cut a portion of this off uh, and weld the actual BC racing coilovers on this knuckle. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna get this to the maximum point that we can and then what we'll be able to do is call a mobile welder to come and weld the strut tower to the BC coilovers. But what's nice is that for the rears, you can actually just throw them in and they are standard bolt up design. Anyways, enough talking. Let's tackle some suspension. So to install the rear uh, shock and spring, uh, what you wanna do is you first want to jack up the car and then take off the wheel then you'll proceed to take off the brake system uh, and then once you're at this point all you have to do is remove this 19 millimeter and then what you will do is then go in the trunk and pull off the lining and then you will be able to access the 13 millimeter bolts on the actual strut. And then what that's gonna do is that's going to drop the strut and then give you access to push this, push the actual system down to get the spring out. And then what we'll do is we'll just put in the new spring, put in the new strut, and then throw everything back together. And while we have the struts and shocks out of the car, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these. Uh, these are from Condor Speed Shop. And what they do is they sit on the top of the strut housing and it, it basically allows uh, these two bolts to uh, take the surface area of the full metal plate and give more structure and rigidity to the, stop, the, to the top of the strut. I don't know if this is making any sense. Anyways, these make sure that the strut doesn't blast through the metal. So it's good. So I'd recommend breaking the 19 millimeter loose uh, with a nice wrench uh, and then you'll be able to uh, get the rest of the bolt out. So I wanna show you guys, uh, this is the old shock. Um, first of all, you can see all the rubber cracking in there. And then if you go like this, you can just squish it. And then it just stays there. Yeah, not even trying to come back. Now, if we get our new one, you can see That is difficult. And when you release it, 
goes right back. So this is gonna be much better. Such beautiful work. So once you get the spring in there, what I did was I just went ahead and went with the highest adjustment possible. I'd rather have to adjust it lower than adjust it higher. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a separate jack. We're gonna go ahead and crank this up a little bit, put some actual tension on this spring. And then what we're gonna be trying to do is trying to get the bolt hole up and measured. And then now what we can do is we can adjust this down to the bolt hole. And then we'll make sure that it's a similar length to the other side. Okay team, so I have the new brakes on and I have the suspension done, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray this uh, up in here all black and kind of just get all the dust off uh, and make it look a lot nicer in here. The suspension is in, the brake rotors are on, brand new brakes, sprayed the inside, looks a little bit better. Um, naturally, I should have done it without the things without the suspension in, but alas, what can you do? I am so excited. Let's get these wheels back on and then we should be good to go, besides the front. All right guys, so if we take a peek in here, ooh, see how nice and juicy that is? I'm sure that there's just a ton of fluid in here. Quick dad help! So now I have disassembled uh, the entire strut and uh, taken the shock out. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look on the, uh, you can see in here, there's a little lip, right, right here. You can feel it better. But, um, so there's a little lip in there and that's what, like, as deep as we want it to go, uh, for welding it. And so there are two different sized struts. Uh, there's one that's a 51 millimeter, um, which the way to tell is to grab a dollar bill and wrap it around the main part of the strut. If it has a gap in between it, then it's a 51. If it overlaps then it's a uh, 49, I believe. But what we did is we measured and marked it, uh, and then I went over and put a piece of tape, and we're gonna use a Dremel to actually cut this part of the shock off so that we can slip that bad boy on, and then tomorrow we're gonna have a welder come over and weld these together. Good morning, guys. It is another day. Uh, Greta is looking much better. We got both of the back wheels on. And this morning we notched out a piece of the uh, skid plate so that it will clear the power steering rack. Uh, again, still looking good under there. And then what we also did is we cleaned up our knuckles. Uh, we have a welder coming today. Um, so what I did was, again, that's, that's all you really need to leave. Uh, and then what we're going to do is kind of have it right about there uh, and then be able to throw on a good weld in there and do the same thing with the other side. So I cleaned up these, made them all straight, um, at least for the most part, uh, and cleaned up the actual paint so that we're just going to get a really good weld on these. Uh, and then what we'll do after the welder comes, we will kind of adjust the ride height um, the back springs are at the, uh, absolute highest that they'll go. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how much, uh, Greta actually sits in the rear. We might lower the rears. So there's going to be a lot of testing and tuning with the actual suspension, but we are making good progress this morning. All right, guys. So the welder did an amazing job on these. Um, these welds look really strong, really nice. Um, 
and they should be very, very strong. Um, he went ahead and arc welded this, um, so they're very strong welds, uh, and I let them cool off. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the knuckle into the car. The E30 is getting better. Um, we got the suspension and everything in. We got the um, steering rack all out. That's the old one. Watch this, ready? Bink! Nice! Yeah, dude, all, here's the brake pads. The brake pads had literally nothing on them. Um, or they were just, yeah, they were just all, all garbage. We got the new shifter and everything, so I compressed that one this morning and it still hasn't uncompressed. <laughs> also, here are my transmission mounts. They uh, all split apart when I took them out. So there's four different pieces for two transmission mounts. So that should be good. That should feel much better on my transmission. Well, the E30 officially has coilovers fully welded in. Wow. Come on, buddy. Wow. Beautiful. Okay guys, so the suspension is all in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drop the car, test the ride height, see how everything's looking. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. I'm gonna also go around and make sure that all the bolts are tight uh, on the suspension. Uh, and then I'm going to drop the car, take it out for a test drive, and then I'll kind of dial in the suspension in a later video. Uh, there's some stuff that I just need to test out with driving the car and everything like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of the coilovers on the E30. It should make a world of difference. But anyways, until next time, my name is Ryan. This is Project Race Car. Have an amazing day. Peace.